John from Robin Hood Gaming, and uh, you're looking at Mountain Blade Warband, and today I'm going to do my first Let's Play series. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to start a game and uh, make a character, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, welcome back. This is my new character, Bowen. As you can see, he's got himself a crossbow, a shield, a little handy bag of bolts, and a sword. So let's get on with that and let's join a kingdom to let's join a caravan to the kingdom of the Vagars, or however you pronounce it. I gotta tell you I don't think I pronounce a single thing in this game right, so let's get on with it. So in the beginning of the game, um, you're basically attacked by some dirty rotten uh, beggar thief fellow. And wow, it's been a while since I played this game. And so you have to uh, defeat him so and afterwards the merchant comes out and uh, he takes you back to his little hotel I know that sounds wrong but uh, he gives you a little quest he's impressed with your fighting skills and uh, he sends you off on a quest to gather some men and uh, basically save his brother who is also captured by a band of outlaws so you have to run around and collect five men from many of the surrounding villages or towns recruit volunteers when you recruit volunteers they cost money uh, in this case in this game um, the currency is denaires so one recruit costs 10 denaires six recruits equals 60 denaires uh, okay and to start out you want to kill some uh, <coughs> gather some men and uh, kill some uh, basically trash um, weak outlaws looters robbers thieves, little groups of uh, independent sort of guys. Okay, so now we have over five men. I guess I didn't need that many men, but the more men you have, the better, I guess. So we have uh, ten men, and we can uh, go to the tavern and uh, yeah, in the tavern you can hire mercenaries, you can find heroes to recruit, but I don't have any money really to spend right now, so let's just this. You go to talk to the merchant, and uh, yeah, we'll continue the quest. Hit tab to go back to the world map, leave the town, and here's the bandits here we want to catch. So um, whenever you're running a quest where you have to find a certain group of robbers or bandits or looters or whatever you're tracking, um, their number will be blue. That means those are the ones you're getting. So we'll click on them, and we'll catch them. come and we'll tell them we're here to kill them. Charge the enemy. Waiting. Okay, there we go. And as you see, here are the couple men I've recruited. My sword. And they will charge with me into battle. You hit F1, it'll bring up your uh, default orders, and there are all your commands. Just tell them to charge. You don't really have to, but I enjoy doing it some other things I can tell you. There's the enemies there. Oh yeah, you can hit shift to zoom in and out a little. This is good for when you're using a bow or a crossbow or some sort of ranged weapon. It can uh, help you uh, um, get a better eye on your enemies. As you can see, yeah, I've hit them a couple times and I'm not really doing very much damage yet because I'm low level. My men are lagging way behind. So once you win the battle, as you see in the bottom left corner, you can press tab and you can leave. Continue. And here's the guy we had to see. And we'll spare him as long as he tells us where the prisoners are. Okay, here's the loot screen. Now there are a couple ways to collect loot. You can click them, drag them over, and drop them into your inventory if you want them. Or you can hold the control key and click them and they will immediately jump over. So let's take all this. In the beginning you want to grab as much loot as you can and uh, whatever you can throw on your guy because, um, well, you don't have very much to begin with and uh, you can sell loot for money. Alright, so now he told us where the hideout is. Oh, ok, 
Okay, so I guess we need to find out. If you want to ever check on any of your quests, you just click on the Notes tab. And here's the, um, the quest that we were doing. Find the bandit lair near Aik, or Aik, or whatever you want to say. Like I said, I don't pronounce anything right. Um, so the bandit lair is going to be near this town. And if you don't know where the town is, because you're new to the game, you can click this, and, it'll t and uh, this will tell you who the town belongs to. It's near Ravadin, or whatever the town is. It belongs to this person. He's the, the person in charge of the town. And um, it's in the kingdom of the Vagars, which is where we were. So we're in this kingdom, and here's the town, and here is the bandit's lair. So we want to ride over here, and we want to attack the hideout. Uh oh, I don't want to fight those guys. Attack the hideout. Loading, 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 ride, waiting, waiting. There we go. Alright, so here's the hideout. You bring a couple men with you weapons. Um, oh yeah, to change weapons you can scroll up and down on your mouse pad. You crossbow, if you want to put away your shield and just use your sword, that's fine. You scroll back. Now you just have your sword. If you want to take it out again, scroll back again. And uh, yeah, mouse 2 button, I think it's called, is to block. If you don't have your shield, you can parry. Uh, so we'll do a little battle without a shield so I can show you. But still. Two. Some more guys up there. Charge. So basically, um, these first battles are not very hard. There are a couple guys to kill. They're not very well armored. They have, they're bare skin, basically, in this tundra, which is not very smart. Just put a bolt in you. There's another guy there. Um, so yeah, in the beginning you want to run around, kill lots of weak guys, get experience, level up. And yeah, I know the beginning battles um, sometimes are not that fun, <laughs> and you'll get really tired of it, but uh, when the game really gets fun is later on. There's the brother coming out to see us. Battles get really fun later on. Um, you get to siege castles, you get to um, uh, capture lords, you can own castles eventually, all kinds of stuff. Lots of fun stuff in this game later on. Okay. So now we saved his brother. We can ride back to here. This is the capital of the kingdom. Although beware of guys that are better than you. So we'll hit our party. After battle, sometimes your men will basically level up. They'll get better, and you can upgrade them. And note that it costs money too to upgrade your men. 10 denaires to upgrade your recruits to footmen, so you want to check and see if you have enough money, like right here, money, 68. Uh, this is how much your men cost per week, because you have to pay your men, obviously. Okay, so let's go to the tavern. Back to the merchant. There he is. So now basically he gives us another quest, and uh, we want to kill a whole bunch of um, bandits in the street that are in the town. So we're going to go do that. Let's roll his men, draw your weapons. Uh, he'll come out somewhere, there's behind me, and he'll tell them to attack. And now you want to kill every single person that does not have that little green thing over their head. Kill all these thieving bandit people. Battle's over. We can go.
go talk to him again. And you can let every fill in learn to fear the name bow and continue. Alright, so now if you hit tab, you go back to the down screen, we can leave. Now that quest is done. That's the whole intro quest. Leveled up. So you hit your character tab, and it'll bring up your um, character stats, whatever you want to call it, tab thingy. So you have a couple things you can do. You can upgrade your strength, which gives you more uh, attack power, and it'll give you more health. You can upgrade your agility, which will make you run faster in a battle, and it will also um, give you five extra points in your proficiencies. And uh, your intelligence uh, gives you an extra point in your skills, and your charisma affects how many men you can lead at one time. So I'm going to upgrade my intelligence. And then you have all these different skills, and if you hold your mouse over them, you'll see up in the top right corner, it'll tell you what they do. Um, I'm going to upgrade my um, pathfinding. That affects how fast you can run on the world map, how fast your character can move. And I'm also going to affect or upgrade my trainer. Because this, every night you train your men, your men get experience every night. This affects how much they can get. And then these here affect uh, how much damage you do with what weapon. Your one-handed weapons, two-handed weapons, pole arms, or pole arms, however the hell you say it. Archery, crossbows, and throwing weapons. I'm going to upgrade uh, one-handed weapons and two-handed weapons. So yeah. That's the basic first quest intro. Um, there's a whole lot more to do and learn in this game, so uh, let me know what you think. Um, comment, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll do some more of these in the future. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.